live game is Manchester United against AC Milan. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Well thanks Peter, there's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, I've been hit by it too. Two starting lineups. turns on Jim I'll choose Wayne Rooney a winner with a big heart and yes he has considerable talent but he's driven by success and the determination that creates that drive you can never underestimate that I think the opposition defense agree too he's going to be the source of so many of their headaches Shulio. Rami. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Plays it out of harm's way. Nigel de Jong plays it long. And through to the goalkeeper. Looks like a good ball through. Timely intervention. Marcos Rojo tries a long pass towards the front. Abate looking up to see who wants it. Marcos Rojo is going to run down the left wing. Well played, he saw that coming. Diego Lopez can hoist it clear. A long forward pass. He's managed to get that all wrong. Van Ginkel. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Looking to shoot. Get that clear. Van Ginkel. Van Ginkel. Now it's Ashley Young. Diego Lopez deals with it effortlessly. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Destro. And it's Di Maria. Here, the collective sigh there, they know they got away with one. Now it's Juan Mata, oh he's broken through. Mata! And he's done it! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart.
Manchester United. Draw first blood here. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. Rooney. Who's going to make this theirs? Dechilio. Alex. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So we reach the halfway point. Oh, what a great time to score that is. There's just no chance for the opposition to come back. To Manchester United for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Nigel de Jong goes long. Valencia. And it's Juan Massa. And it's Di Maria. And flags up. And out to safety. Now it's Rooney. Rooney cuts it out. Manchester United yet dipped into their subs. Tries a through ball. Alex does well there. Alert. Van Ginkel. Has he found his man? Milan get it back again. And scored near to half time to give them a 1 0 lead. Abate. Manchester United have a free kick. Shade too heavy. Keeper could pick that up. Rooney. It's Rooney! Oh, and that should have been two. What a huge let off that was. Conceding them would really have left them a mountain to climb. Forward it goes. Away from immediate danger. Spoon forward. Destro. Fine defending there. Chance. Oh, gorgeous from Juan Mata. And surely now, the results beyond doubt. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, for me, you can't fault the keeper there. The effort went in at the widest possible point off the upright. Nothing he could do. Manchester United could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead 
Is there still time for a response? Chance to shoot. Straight at the keeper. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. And that will be the final act.